Uh, Dex? Dexter? Dexter Charming! Uh, I'm up! I mean, hi, Cupid. Uh... <laughs> what is up with you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Raven. You know, Briar is having that party on Friday, and I want to ask Raven to be my date, but I'm, I'm just afraid I'm going to mess it up. There are other girls at this school. You'd ask Raven out for me? Not what I meant. <sighs> I, I wish I was more like my brother. If I was the great, daring, charming, girls would just fall for me. Literally. Why don't you try your asking out skills on your friends? That's a great idea! You're the best! How about a little thank you kid? The art of conjuration. Making things Hey, Briar. If I said something like, you want to go out with me, uh, would you? Aw, oh, man! <laughs> So, did it hurt? Did what hurt? When you fell from heaven, cause Maddie, you are an angel. You speak riddleish too? <laughs> oh man. So, this weekend, you, me? <laughs> Ew. Oh. oh man! Mind if I sit? R Raven, uh, um, you come up here too? Best place in the whole school to watch the sunset. Hey, would you go with me to Briar's party on Friday? What? I'd rather just go with a friend. Less pressure that way, know what I mean? <laughs> Excellent. I'll see you Friday. Yes! Oh! I'm going to a party with Raven Queen! <laughs> Dex! It totally worked! You're the best! <laughs> so here we find ourselves the day after legacy day. And relationships between the rebels and the royals are anything but a fairy tale. Raven totally ruined legacy day, if you ask me. Hey, Raven wants to write her own happily ever after, not be told what to do by the royals. Oh, please. We all saw what really happened at legacy day. If I can't have the destiny I want, then I'll make sure no one has theirs. <laughs> tell you how it happened. I propose we banish the rebels to their own evil school. <laughs> Are you mad? That did not happen. Uh, I know the mature way to handle this. Let's just ignore them. Fine. <laughs> <gasps> oh, Hex, no you didn't. Oh, it is on like fairy song. We have to stop them. I got this. I know things have been hard recently, and, and Apple and I don't exactly see eye to eye. But it doesn't mean we want our friends to fight about it. I'm glad we can agree on something. <laughs> Me too. Besides, it's not like we can really rewrite our destinies. We have happily ever afters. You don't. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, my! We're doing that, are we? Well... <laughs> you see what Raven did? This school will never be the same. Exactly, and I think it's a good thing. A very good thing. <laughs> Raven, what's the header? It's Apple. She's really upset about Legacy Day. I wish I could do something to make Apple feel better. Like all fairy tale princesses, she needs an arch enemy to be the end of her yang and make her feel complete. So, I just need to find someone to take my place as Apple's storybook nemesis. Um, I'll do it. It's always been my dream to be the evilest pig this school ever saw. <laughs> Ah! Hey, Raven, I did something diabolical. I switched the yellow mustard for the brown mustard. <laughs> wow, these hot dogs are great. I know, I think it's the new mustard. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna drop dangerous gas-filled balloons on unsuspecting students. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah. Really? Uh, what kind of 
gas did you fill them with? Helium. Okay, helium is not dangerous. It does this. <gasps> I heard you're trying to find an evil replacement to make me happy. That is so mean. Excuse me? You and I are supposed to be frenemies. But I don't want to. <sighs> I want to choose my own destiny. Why can't you Girl? understand that? I can't believe Girl. you're doing this. Girls! Hi. I don't want to be an evil queen anymore. Didn't you say this was your big dream? Oh, oh, that? That was this morning. <laughs> now I want to be a lunatic. And so the struggle continues at Ever After High. Maybe things will just magically work out. Yeah, when pigs fly. <laughs> they told you everything was waiting for you. They told you everything was set in stone. You'll you'll more Excuse me, Professor Piper? Can you show us that melody again? Of course, my dear. Kitty, you know what happens when... <laughs> oh, rats, I forgot. Raven Queen, please report to Baba Yaga's office. Me? Yes, you. Uh, Madam Yaga, is everything... Okay. Raven, take a seat. As a faculty advisor, it's my job to meet with the, um... Troubled students. What? I'm not troubled. We're here to get you back on the right path. <laughs> the wrong path. I'll let your friends explain. Raven, I adore you. But, like, the other day, you spilled that everlasting black ink all over my new ball gown. That was an accident. I felt really bad and said I was sorry, like, a hundred times. You're not supposed to apologize. You're evil. Oh, but what if I don't want to... Raven, you're here to listen. Briar, would you like to go next? Everyone, I set up a bungee jumping platform on the east turret. Briar, hocus focus. Maddie. I think Raven is wicked awesome just the way she is. And you didn't tell me we were here to be hassle her. You said we were going to have a tea party. Yes. I lied. We haven't heard from Lizzie Hartz. Off with the head! Now that's what we're looking for from an evil queen. I think we made real progress here. But uh, how do I change back? I don't want to be a chicken man! Could you not sing in the morning? <laughs> or ever? Oh, you big kidder. Mirror, mirror. So smart and cool. Who's the fairest at this school? You are Apple White. Greatest mirror ever. I'm gonna borrow some jewelry from Briar. BRB! <laughs> I wonder if some magic can get a little more curl going on here. <laughs> no. Magic mirror. What do you think? What do I think? My mirror. Did something happen while I was gone? Um, no. Not that I remember. This is a royal fairy fail. Come on, we're gonna find you another mirror. My mirror? Here you go. What? You you don't have a bigger mirror? You never know when you need to look good on the go. I'm having trouble finding one that's just right. Some of these are too narrow, too wide. Oh, I don't like the frames. You want to borrow my mirror? Well, okay, just let me do one quick checkeroo. Oh, ooh. Mm. You're never getting that away from him. Yeah, I know. Okay. This is just the worst thing that's ever happened to anyone. Apple, I broke your magic mirror. Oh, I know. You what? Duh. You're supposed to be the most evil person ever. I just assumed you did it and then lied about it. Until my new mirror arrives. I know how you can make it up to me. Is this the perfect thing to wear to crown, Killer's class? Of course it is. Fairest one of... Ow! So heavy! Stop breaking character. I don't want to keep calling you the fairest. Come on. Be a good evil roommate. 
Everyone at school is buzzing about the Royal Student Council elections, but there's only one choice for president. She's running unopposed again. Apple White. Blondie, just because I don't have an opponent doesn't mean I'm not going to work my crown off. I'll use my debate time to outline my plan for royal dances, royal fundraisers, royal canned food drives, royal blah and royal blah and royal na na na. Wouldn't it be great if someone else... I'll do it. I will run against Apple for president. Uh, what now? Vote for Maddie! Vote for me! <laughs> Hats over crowns, vote for Maddie. Oh, uh, hey, Raven. Uh... Hipster, vote for me! Ow! I mean, oh boy, thanks so much for that pin. Uh. So here we go, fellow fairy tales. The Ever After High Royal Student Council debate. First question goes to Apple White. Why would anyone not vote for you? Let me just say, I will preside over this school like I will my future kingdom. Perfectly. <laughs> and Maddie, my question for you is, why would you run against Apple? Are you... Mad? Why, yes, and thank you for noticing. If the squirrel eats acorns but never a steak, how much water fills up the lake? <laughs> Excuse me? You heard us. Apple's been president long enough. Maddie's mad. I have a terrific idea. It'd just be oh so swell the council could have the castle doors widen for the not so tiny of us. I think we can make that happen, but I need to check with my co-president. For the cave of the bear is open so wide. Would you really change the pull of the tide? <laughs> what she said. <laughs> you had correctly, Raven Queen. Uh, Professor Rumpelstiltskin? This is totally unfair. You can't test us on chapters 1 through 34. We've only studied up to chapter 2. I cannot tell a lie, and, well, that that's just not very nice. <laughs> you guys don't know about Professor Rumpelstiltskin? At the beginning of each year, he gives an insanely hard test. His students have to ask for extra credit, <laughs> which is just spinning straw into gold for him. The test is tomorrow morning. Look, I'm totally getting stress splinters. Well, I could tutor you guys. I've been studying on my own, like, forever after. Royally cool. Hmm, let's start with the basic elements. <sighs> if we can't wake up Briar, we're totally gonna fail the test. <sighs> Man, if only she took studying as seriously as partying. Oh, that's it! <sighs> oh, hey guys, what's up? You! Finally! But now you have to stay awake and help us. Well, there's one thing I'm always up for. A study party! Yes! yes! The basic elements. There's pixie dust and dragon fire. Pixie dust, dust and, and dragon fire. <laughs> Time is up. Let's see how you failed. Raven Queen, an A. Apple White, an A. Cedar Wood, A. Hunter Osman. Never a. underestimate Brian. the power Hunter of a Osman. study party. A. <laughs> Behold, C.A. Cupid, adopted daughter of Eros, the god of love. She currently attends Monster High, but is about to discover that another school is in need of her very special talents. <laughs> Fairy tale destinies are now anything but certain. Will princesses end up with their princes? Will the rebel students now find true love? These relationships will need Cupid's help to end happily ever after. Hello, fair lady of love. I am Hopper Crokington II, and I am in desperate need of your counsel. I know just what every frog needs to become a prince. But lady, wait! <laughs> hey there, you're Cupid. I think they should call you Cute-Pid. Oh, when I get tongue-tied, I turn back... Blast! If only I possessed my poetic skills while in human form, but so flustered I become near the beauty that is Briar. You know what? I got this. Tell me how you feel about Briar. Well, there is none that can... Hopper! Wait, you're the secret admirer who wanted to meet here? I mean, look, 
First, you send me a basket of chocolate-covered <laughs> flies, then a smelly bouquet of swamp grass. I'm sorry, but I just don't want to go to the dance with you. My sweet Briar, the beauty of this night is not compared to the beauty you possess. Hopper, I've never seen this side of you. Hey, Cupid. Oh, Dexter. Oh, anything else you want to say? <laughs> Oops. You're just so... <laughs> I mean... I mean... Lost. Ew. Oh, ribbit. I got the shoes. Now, how about a hug for your hero? Boy, I hope that's you, Hunter. You know it, Pumpkin. Thank you so much for getting these. And now you have to leave. It, huh? Sorry, sweetie, but I have less than an hour to set up the display for these new shoes. Blondie and Briar are gonna be here any minute, and they can't know about us. Well, me. Uh huh. Sounds great. Then you and You're the best. Get some coffee. And now I'm here. Thanks for helping, you guys. Now, we don't have much time, but... No problem, Ashlyn. I see where you have the platform set up, and I would move it 20 inches to the left so the natural light hits the shoes, giving them that halo effect. Just right, right? Um, I guess. <laughs> Briar, thoughts? <sighs> Is on. And that's why glass slippers are totally overrated. I hope I can open this. Pesky. That is the last straw. Hmm. <laughs> We've only unpacked one box so far. And the store opens in less than a minute. We're never gonna make it. You can run, Pesky, but you can't hide. Hunter, no! <laughs> wow. So, do we get free shoes for helping or what? You ready for that hug, hero? Or how about a kiss? <laughs> Pesky! Sorry, Carmine. I'd love to race again, but I gotta get back to school. My ears. Go find our pack. <laughs> you beat that wolf in a race. How do you do it? I'm all ears. Kitty, you can't tell anyone about that. <laughs> Three. Uh, Raven? Let me guess. You... Yeah. You wanna talk about it? I just... I guess it would be a relief to finally tell someone. My family is... Hiding a secret. Your mom, Red Riding Hood, married the big bad wolf? Don't worry, I won't say a word. It's not you I'm worried about. We're running laps today, which you'll find very important when some crazy old bakers try to eat you. Okay, now ready, set! Kitty. What? I'll show you. <laughs> Raven, thanks. Don't worry, kitty. It'll wear off. Eventually. And so, there I was, Professor Jack B. Nimble, about to jump over the candlestick when I realized it wasn't a candle at all, but a nest of fire-breathing baby dragons. <gasps> your assignment is to come up with a tall tale of your own. See, it's just that since I'm cursed to never lie, I'm not real good at stretching the truth. 
Well, then why don't you try to find a real life story that is so dramatic that it sounds like a tall tale? Perfect. Wait, where am I gonna find one of those? My, what big muscles you have. All the better to hug you with. Wait a splinter. You two are dating. What? No, that's silly. Of course we're not. Romantic picnic. Um, heart-shaped cupcakes. Really, guys? Come on. Uh, these aren't romantic. My uncle made them. What about this? Your initials inside a heart? Oh, we didn't do that. Must have been that, uh, woodpecker. Bad woodpecker. Uh... Okay, well, what about this? Ashlyn, I'm so glad we're secretly dating. Love, Hunter Huntsman. I mean, come on. You wrote that for me? <gasps> when Professor Nimble asks me if anything dramatic happened today, I'm gonna have to tell everyone about you guys. I can't lie. What are you gonna do? I might go along. Wait a splinter. I think I have an idea. Well, I was out walking in the woods, and I saw something pretty amazing. I saw Hunter and a Hunter That girl is a nut. In all the right ways. I'm just so obvious. I mean, come on. Looks like Ever After High is in for a stormy afternoon. As a new student, well, an old student, returns to the school. I heard she has actual wolf claws. I heard she howls at the moon. Poor Cerise. It is their destiny to be enemies. What's, uh, so exciting? Me. It's Ramona Bad Wolf! Hello, Cerise. I thought I smelled wet dog. Oh, please, Hood. You couldn't find your way out of a paper bag. What's this lollygagging? Move along, or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow you to class! <laughs> now you girls really need to... Talk to the paw, Dad. <sighs> Miss Hood, are the rumors true that it was your fault that Ramona Badwolf was sent away to the Dark Force Reform School? I... no comment. Uh... Ramona, to the headmaster's office. I'll see you after school. You heard it here first. Come see the Hood versus Bad Wolf battle after school. This is ridiculous. I think we can settle our own problems. Agreed. So, you accept my challenge? Ugh, fine. Let's settle this right now. <gasps> I say no fighting in the halls. Both of you in my classroom now. Dad, she, she started. started. Did not, Dad. Cerise is taking this under the hood thing too far. Ooh, mysterious secret. Look at me, I'm a hood. I'm not doing it for me. You are so mean. Girls, muzzle it. You both know how it is. Yeah, yeah. If anyone knew the big bad wolf was married to Little Red, they'd flip their crowns. That's right. So until graduation, our family must remain secret. Now, let's give your audience a real competition. You ready for this, sis? Oh, yeah. Justine Dance. The youngest of 12 sisters who all attended Ever After High. But who does not yet know her fairy tale destiny? Ever After to Justine. <laughs> I'm B. I went to bed early, but I had the most exciting dream. I already had my own dance studio, and I was dancing in all my favorite styles. <laughs> Let's chit chat more tip tap. Let's practice, ladies. Shoes on. <gasps> My shoes! Ruined! Who did this? Not no. me. Those were your good shoes. A mystery to be solved after my class, Miss Dancer. First position. These are the top of the line from the glass slipper. No shoe thief could resist these beauties. 
When the thief trips the beam, this series of triggers will go off, and the video cameras will record the crime. Can't fail. Wasted time. You can't rely on tech. Press that button. Chew that cord. Won't work. I bet the shoes will get taken. Since when were you a shoe-stealing expert? Oh, yeah. Blame the bad wolf. <laughs> Relax. You and I don't exactly have the same taste. Don't wake her up. Wake who up? What is going on? <gasps> Justine Dancer? It was me all along? But what? How? Enchantments. Your older sisters went through it too. Congratulations! You're the 12th dancing princess. You had to find out for yourself. But now that you know, you begin to control your power. The gift of eternal dance. Yeah! Yeah! I'm sorry I suspected you, Ramona. Thank you all so much for helping me find my destiny. Time for a mid-morning break at Ever After High Student Lounge. <laughs> Remember, my enchantments only last till the clock strikes noon. Wish wisely. I wish I looked princely again. Vera, my volcano won't work. <laughs> Guys, Vera needs time off too. <laughs> Thanks, Ash. It's not easy being a future fairy godmother, but I do love enchanting. If you enjoy enchanting, then what's bothering you? I've been thinking. I'll never have a fabulous gown myself, or have a ball to go to, or a prince to dance with. I just wish I could make my own wishes come true sometimes. <laughs> but I can't. Oh, that's sadder than an empty teapot. I wish Farrah's wishes would come true. Maddie, you're brilliant. Yay! Wait, I am? Farrah has princessology class now. And I have a plan. Farrah! It's a wish emergency! I need a bunch of streamers for our class presentation. Thanks. Farrah! We forgot to bake two dozen cupcakes for Cooking Classic. Thank you! I haven't had any wishes yet, if you don't mind. For my best friend forever after? Anything. I wish for the most fabulous glittery gown fit for a princess for you. <laughs> Me? But why? That's what I wish. Oh my! But I don't understand. Might I have this dance? <laughs> so charming. Oh, Ashlyn, this is a wish come true. Thank you so much. If only the clock weren't about to strike noon. Well then, I wish this hour would repeat itself right now. <laughs> excited about Hunter's party, too, but don't you think you're a little overdressed for an outdoor celebration? I wanted to go to Hunter's party, but today is the Faybell formal. Faybell's thing is today. That's what the invitation says. Come celebrate all things Faybell at this enchanting and mandatory event. If you don't come, I'll place a curse on you. Seems fair. I've been looking forward to Hunter's party forever after. Oh, I wish there was a way we could go to both parties. Welcome! Take a moment to look around and find your name cards. At your seats, you'll find a list of fun Faybell facts and topics to help spark conversations about me. Thanks for inviting us, Faybell. This is, um, really something. Oh, we completely forgot the cupcakes. The cupcakes? We made cupcakes. Of Faybell cupcakes.
cupcakes with pictures of Faybell. Which is you. Don't worry about it. We have plenty of food here. Nope. Be right back. We're totally going to both parties. If we were any smarter, we'd need bigger crowns. Ashley! <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna make it. Hey, girls! Where are you girls? You're gonna miss the Faybell slideshow. Where have you been? Where are the cupcakes? Um, we ate them. We better go make some more. Ugh. Where are you girls? Party. I am so putting a curse on you! Hey, did you know that they have a carousel at the other party? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Combine the parties! Woo! Now we just have to figure out which look to wear. Okay, everyone. Mr. Pied Piper, sir. So, I compose this enchanted song to make pesky here. Sort these walnuts. <laughs> Cut it out! A spectacular first try at melodic manipulation. Who's next? How about you, Melody? Sure thing, Dad. My song is gonna guide little Mouse Tro here to the cheese at the end of this maze. And now, to mix things up a bit. Turntables? You won't be able to control it. Dad, I can do this. Curses. I really thought that would work. Huh? I can't stop dancing! What the heck? Melody's magic is making us dance! What is the meaning of this? Oh, oh, whoa! I can't stop dancing! Can I? This whole school can't stop dancing, and it's all my fault! How can we stop? You have to get everyone dancing in sync. Hmm. Hey, Raven, I think these beats could use a little pick-me-up. Yay! Heck yeah! Now listen up and let DJ Piper move you. That's it. Now follow me. Hang on to those crowns, because DJ Piper is about to work some magic. Here's a little something for you rebels out there. DJ Piper. Make us move, Melody! <laughs> well played, Melody. A plus. Oh, I tea and biscuits. Nina Thumbbell. I almost stepped on you. <laughs> Not even close. Learn a lot from the little world right underfoot. Learning? Oh, we better skidoodle battle or we'll lose today's fairy field trip. Tulipular! I love exploring. Be right up. I'll race ya! <laughs> <laughs> so, what's going on? Fairy field trip's canceled. But I was so excited to see new places today. I so wish you could shrink down and see the school the way I do. Looks like we get our field trip after all. Raven found one of her mom's magic charms that shrinks, shrinks you down, down if, if you, you touch its gem. Yes. <laughs> fun! Yay! Wow. Look, it worked! Come on, follow me! Yeah. 
Let me show you my Ever After High. <laughs> <laughs> Just touch it a second time. Oops. How do we reach the charm? Not a problem, peeps. I can grow big or small whenever I want. Of course. I got charmed too when I was big, so I can only get tinier. Cat treats for him. He loves it. Okay, Rascal, go get the charm. Hey! 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 This charm is too unpredictable. I'm tossing it. Ooh, this looks pretty. Do you see her? She's right up there. Look, I see her. Oh, Now for the heart. Oh, I see her. Wow. How can she not be afraid of falling? That's like a mile up. Can you see her? <laughs> alone. Hi, Humphrey. Uh, Are you, um, okay? Jillian, you have to teach me how you do it. How to be brave. It's not something you teach. Please, I'll give you these five beans. Magic beans? Uh, no. Regular beans. Good enough. Let's go. Oh. This may take longer than I thought. I can't do heights. I'm too scared. Maybe climbing things isn't your story. You are pretty amazing, too, Humphrey. At the ground level. Don't overthink it. Do it or you don't. Do it. Oh, my crown! Is that Humphrey Dumpty climbing the beanstalk? Oh, no. He's in trouble. I can do it. I can do it. Jump to me! I can't do it! I just can't do it! Humphrey, help me! Julian! Humphrey, you did it! When you thought I needed help, you did it! I'd say you were pretty brave. <laughs> you have a parachute. Yep. Here comes that new girl, Michelle. I heard she's shy. We should invite her to come sit with us. Hey, Michelle! Over here! Hi, Michelle. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Wanna see my terrific new talent show trip? <gasps> Whoa! I have to go now. Excuse me. Hey, Michelle. We thought maybe we got off on the wrong slipper, so we brought you this flower for your dorm. It's a snapdragon. Uh, I'm good. I've never met someone so shy before. I'm pretty sure it's my hat. 
She doesn't like my hat. <laughs> Michelle is a mermaid. Oh, hey! Sorry I ran away before. My legs turn back into my fin when I touch water, and I... I'm just not very confident around people when I'm on land. Look, I can do it! How could anybody not like my hat? Michelle, your voice is so... fairest. You should totally sing in the talent show. In front of everybody? On legs? I, I can't do it. Everyone at school would flip their crown if they heard you sing. I'm sorry, but I can't do it if I'm not in the water. Oh, 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 I just got an idea. Gather however you go ever and ever after high. Royal and rebel, you're more than one. Together however you go ever and ever after to be spellbound, and behold, the biggest cup of tea ever after! <coughs> you know what? This could take a while. How about an encore from Michelle while we wait? Cause it's your life. The Winter Palace at the top of the world. Apple White and Madeline Hatton were on their way to learn all about winter for a class assignment on the seasons. Oh. So, Maddie, what do we have so far for the report? <laughs> Winter is cold. When Ashlyn Ella found out that Apple and Maddie were researching Winter, well, she insisted that they take a trip to meet her old spellementary school friend. Crystal Winter. <laughs> And you're freezing. <laughs> wow! You two look frosty fabulous. Come on, I'll show you how we make winter. Forever after, my family and the loyal subjects of our kingdom have been responsible for bringing winter to the land. Snowflake is thoroughly inspected to ensure that no two are alike. Jackie Frost and Northwind here are on inventory duty. It's so enchantingly fun! Fun? I thought you said inventory was... <laughs> now this way to the throne room. So, when you said this job was fun, were you being sarcastic? Heck no! We love it! There's counting, there's snowflakes. You can't lose. Say, you don't want to give it a try, do you? You'd let me? Fantastic! Let's see. One, after one. One, and two. Tea time! Excuse me, could we slow this down a school? I tell you, Jackie, you're as cold as ice. <laughs> Well, it's very nice to make your acquaintance, too, Miss White. We're both big fans of your mother. Thank you, Your Majesties. <gasps> Spectacular! Now I get to do it all over again! One, after one, Ugh. one and two. After the unfortunate events of Legacy Day, some students are questioning our lesser school legends. Maybe if a certain student used her mirror cast to prove the school legends to be true... Great idea! I'll prove those legends are just right! Hello, fellow fairy tales! With me today is Cedar Wood, and she's gonna help me prove one of those school legends is totally true! Troll tears make awesome shampoo! <laughs> Wait a splinter. Maybe we didn't use enough? We're going to make this just right. Blondie, stop it! <laughs> See? What did I tell you? <laughs> We're 
here in the Charmatorium to prove another of the school legends. Giants are terrible dancers. Helping me out is Duchess Swan. And Tiny. And a one and a two. But we're supposed to be proving the legends are true. Giants can't dance. Uh, my eyes! I can't see! I'm okay. <laughs> the legend is proved. With the help of Sparrow Hood, we are going to prove playing just the right song will soothe a fearsome griffin into leaving its nest. True! Go! Fly away! It's totally outlawed. Oh. Headmaster, the show is going great. And I've got so many excellent ideas for more episodes. We can prove that unicorns are really violent. The beanstalks have the sharpest thorns. Oh. Welcome, fairy tale friends, to spring at Ever After High. Where following their true hearts is the only thing on students' minds. Royals with royals and rebels with rebels. Well, it may not be as straightforward as that. Look at Hunter and Ashley. the same direction. Cupid and Dexter. Charming. Oh. Cupie and Dexie. <gasps> uh, hey, Cupid. Anyone sitting here? Yes. I mean, no. No one is sitting there. You should sit there. Thanks. Shh. Quiet in the library! The evil step librarians are so wicked. Yeah, last week they made me recatalog the entire forbidden book section. <laughs> Shh. Well, look what I found. <gasps> the history of True Hearts Day? Thanks, Dex! You are such a sweet! And so, each time a fairy tale is told... Headmaster! My dear, I am writing my speech for... Love never waits! What are you going on about? True Hearts Day! Where... <clears throat> did you find that? It tells all about this totally excellent holiday that encourages everyone to follow their true heart's desire. But it hasn't been celebrated in years. And <gasps> never will be again. That holiday is dangerous. But, but... Some students might see it as a sign to break from their destinies. Maybe True Hearts Day is... <clears throat> you are not to talk about this to anyone. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I won't say a thing. True Hearts Day? I don't get it. Oh. <gasps> Charades! 48 words. A holiday that used to be celebrated in the fairy tale world that encourages us to follow our true heart's desire, but Headmaster Grimm doesn't want anyone to know about it, but you think we should celebrate it anyway and throw a secret underground True Hearts Day dance? Why didn't you just say that? Cuz, Headmaster Grimm told me not to say anything. Secret dance? What if Grimm catches us? He won't. Come on, it'll be happily ever awesome. I do throw the most excellent parties. Yay! We're having a secret True Hearts Day dance! Secret True Hearts Day dance! Secret True Hearts Day dance! Um, you might not want to shout that. You know, being a secret and all. Stop that! 
Come on. They went this way. <gasps> I'm finally going to get some proof. Why do you even care? I care because it's not fair. Ashlyn is breaking the royal rules with her secret romance, but she still gets a happily ever after, and I don't. So you got a plan? I mean, it's not like we're just going to find them in some romantic moment. Oh, hey, Duchess, Sparrow, we didn't see you. <laughs> What's going on? You two are totally busted! Ashlyn, Hunter, I think the real question is, what are you two doing here? Having a secret romantic rendezvous? We gotta find a better place to picnic. You two can't tell anyone Hunter and I are secretly dating. Um, yeah. Wow. Well, I'm gonna. Ash, this is gonna knock you down the royal rankings. But don't worry. I'll take your place. And your happily ever after. <laughs> Bummer, Princess to be. Ah! Whoa, whoa, Stop whoa. that! Now, my love tale friend. Part of the mirror cast where I try to solve your romantic problems. So, fragile in Fairyland, what's in your heart? Um, well, uh, I. Dex? I kind of. Uh, no, I, I do. I do have a crush on this girl named Raven. Raven Queen? You have a crush on Raven Queen? <gasps> I, I mean, Rachel! Rachel, yeah, I like a girl named Rachel. Okay, Rachel. So you like her. What's the problem? Well, whenever I'm around her, I get really, uh, tongue-tied. Oh, okay. <laughs> Look, how about putting down your feelings on parchment? That is a great idea! I'll write her a love poem! <gasps> oh, uh, <clears throat> thanks, Cupid. You're the best. Bye. No problem. It's oh, a what? <laughs> Aren't you just totally excited? It used to be such an important holiday on the royal calendar. Huh? Love. Finding our predetermined princes. Um, sure, yeah. Oh, sweetie, what's wrong? You can tell me. I mean, we are friends forever after. I'm not sure you'd understand. What? Is it boy trouble? Oh, wow, hey, I am thirsty. Um, I'm gonna go get us a couple hocus lattes. Double foam, extra apple caramel, right? Ah, uh, you work here. I want these in a size 74. Oh. And so Dexter finished his true heart's poem for Raven. Now he just had to wait for a response. What's this? It's a love poem. Oh, a secret note! Is there anything more hat-tastic? But who's it from? D. Charming. <laughs> Ladies? Daring? I had no idea he felt this way. Sup, brother? Oh, Gord. Love is very... Complicated. Yes, complicated. Uh, the path of love is never straight. Well, it was until people started choosing their own stories. Oh, you must admit, this is much more interesting. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. Hey, Ashlyn. What's up with the urgent text message? Is ever Shh! <gasps> Sorry, Cedar. But I need help. We need help. Uh, Hunter? Shh, I'm not Hunter. I'm a Gunter. Gunter Gunsman. Is this about your guy's secret relationship? Shh, yes, it is about that. Duchess knows, and she's gonna spell it out for the whole school. We don't know what to do. Well, I always find it's best to tell the truth. 
You're right, Cedar. Gunter Gunsman. I got a triple mint hocus latte for Gunter Gunsman. <laughs> Over here. <laughs> C.A. Cupid. Oh, I'm Cupid. That's me. Uh, just sign here. Party <gasps> supplies? Uh, yes. Party supplies. Um, for our play. And what exactly is the name of this play? It's, a. Uh, uh, It's called The Play That Almost Was, and then wasn't, but then was. Mm. Very well. <gasps> I don't know, Duchess. It is a bomb spell, but Ash and Hunter are my friends. If you don't report on it, someone else will. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> Ashlyn, <gasps> you and Hunter are, are dating? But, but, but you're a royal, and he's a rebel. Totally awkward. Oh. A royal dating a rebel? That's just not how the tale is told. She followed her true heart, which is kind of what True Heart's Day is all about. So, fellow fairy tales, Blondie Locks here to give you reaction to the royally rebellious romance. I think it's excellent. <laughs> Ashlyn and Hunter decided to rewrite their destinies. What's wrong with that? Oh. <gasps> I feel for them. I mean, keeping secrets is hard. <laughs> a royal and a rebel? <laughs> They're from two different worlds. <laughs> I am trying to do an interview here. I'm worried about Ashlyn and Hunter. If they don't follow their destinies, their books could close forever. Remember our quiz tomorrow on tiara size and future neck problems? Apple, we have to talk. Ash, this is hard for me. Which is a first because I usually handle everything so very well. I know. I'm just so surprised you didn't trust me enough to tell me. I didn't think you'd understand. I guess I don't. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't want to see anything bad happen to someone I care so much about. And so you're telling me all these heart-shaped cakes are for your play? Yep. For the play. You know it. They're, they're for that really funny scene where uh, Briar throws them at Hopper. Excuse me? Oh, yeah. It's such a funny scene. I just wind up and... <laughs> Very well. Duchess, what do you want? What do I want? My own happily ever after, of course. And now that everyone knows that you're dating a rebel, it looks like there's one available. No glass slipper for you. <laughs> so you're happy about Hunter and I dating while my best friends aren't? Maybe I did make a mistake. What? No! You're totally doing the right thing. Follow your heart and all that sappy stuff. Sorry, I'm saving this for Ashlyn. Hey, Ashlyn! Ahem. <clears throat> Hunter, we need to talk. Uh, Ashlyn? I just... I thought this would be a good thing, showing everyone we were dating. I thought it would take the pressure off, but now, everything is worse. What are you saying? My friends are upset. I don't know what's going to happen to our stories. Yeah, but... Hunter, 
I don't want anything bad to happen to us. To you. I think... I think we should break up. I'm sorry. And so, as the sun set on Ever After High... The students were getting fairest for the big dance. dance tonight. What? Why? Briar is planning it. And if I can get her in trouble with Headmaster Grimm, then there'll be a new opening in the royal ranks. You know what? I am done with you. What's ruffled your feathers? I, Sparrow Hood, the rockingest, handsomest guy in this school, can't find out where the dance is. No one will tell me because I'm friends with you. Well, someone around here must know something. You really think anyone's gonna tell you the truth? There's one person at this school who's cursed to. Appreciate your kind kudos, fair maiden. <laughs> hey guys, who's DJing tonight? We got the daughter of the Pied Piper, Melody Piper. <laughs> what up, Ever After? Ready for me to drop some True Hearts tunes? Yay! Then follow me. This next chapter day saw a 30% rise in our semi-magical creature attendance Psst. rates. Which, <clears throat> when you compare that to... Psst. Excuse me. Duchess Swan, I'm addressing the entire magical community on the mirror net at this very moment. I know, and I'm so sorry to disturb you, but there's something I just thought you had to know about. Which is? I hate to tell on my friends, but some students are having a secret True Hearts Day dance. Show me where. <sighs> So, 300 autographs later, my quill finally gives out. But there are a hundred more girls in Daring. line. Daring, uh, c can we talk for a minute? Of course, yes. I wanted to thank you for that poem you left on my locker. Um, I never wrote you a poem. You didn't? But it says right here, D. Charming. <gasps> Dexter. Hi, Dex. <laughs> so, not exactly a happy True Hearts Day, huh? Why does my brother always get the girl? It's not fair. Maybe you should stop thinking so much about your brother and, um, concentrate on someone else? Uh, who? You! You spend so much time comparing yourself to Daring, you forget you're great, just the way you are. Really? Cross my heart. Thanks, Cupid. It was Dexter! Can you believe it? And Dex, he's so sweet and cute. And I'm gonna tell him that I... I'm too late. Where is this party? Not much further. Now, 
since True Heart's Day hasn't been celebrated in such a long time, I wanted to tell everyone what it's all about. Once upon a time, there grew a very special tree. The Heart Tree. And even if the winter was harsh and the other trees failed to bloom, the Heart Tree blossomed no matter what. And so, our fairy tale ancestors gave the blossoms to each other on True Hearts Day to show that even though it's not always easy, true love will always find a way. And so, to encourage all of us to follow our true heart. Oh. Make sure to give yours to someone special to you. Can I... Hunter? When I listen to my true heart, it tells me that you're my Prince Charming. Aww. But how can you be a royal and date Hunter? I don't know. But if writing our own happily ever after means I can't be a royal, then call me Ashlyn Ella the Rebel. Yeah! I'd like to give this to you, Hunter, if you'll have it. Of course. Oh, Apple! I'm so sorry. I just had to do what... Why are you giving this to me? I might be worried about you, and I might think you're doing the wrong thing, but I want you to know that we'll always be friends, no matter what. That's what's in my true heart. Thanks, Apple. You are the best. <laughs> I know. This is literally the best day ever. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Don't be a worry, Flurry. Let's party! <laughs> mine, 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 mine! Huh. Hey, Cupid. You seen Cedar? I can't find her anywhere. Oh, Cedar had something royally important to do tonight. There it is. Trying to practice here. Miss Swan, detention! What? Where are they? You totally got what you deserved! Yeah! You told Cedar the wrong spot, because you knew Duchess would try to get it out of her. <laughs> yep. Then she left me a note back in the dorm telling me the real party was here. Now that is a happy ending. I have to say, my true heart agrees. <laughs> <laughs>